Hi everyone, Martin here again, and I've been doing a bit of auction reaping. Well, as I've told you, my goal initially was to work from home, and I created Auction Reaper, as you know, as a way of you earning local money from local cash from items around you, and possibly selling them on for a profit. You can do this stuff very easy. Now, this is only gonna be a small section of what I actually do with regards to auction reaping. I do visit auctions, I do go to auctions, and it's all part of working from home. Yes, I've got automated income streams. Yes, I've got products out there. But if you're a beginner and you want to start to get an interest or a knowledge in a certain field, maybe uh, auctions or maybe stuff around you and knowing how to take advantage of that sort of stuff, this is another method of doing it. There's no excuses. But I show you the, all the techniques that I use in Auction Reaper. And you're going to see some of the results I've got from Auction Reaping just this week. So let's have a quick look. Remember, I'm not an expert. I don't know anything about most of this stuff that's, that I'm gonna show you, but I do know how to search and how much to pay if I do see this stuff. And this is research you could be doing while you're sitting down watching your TV in the evening and just flicking through your iPad or if you've got a laptop computer, exactly the same as I do. So let's go and have a look now. Right, so here's a table full of stuff that I've recently picked up at auction. Now, again, I don't know anything about this stuff. Get a name for the product and then do your checks using the auction reaping method. And um, let's just go outside as well. Again, I don't know anything about any of this stuff. I've bought it on the strength of my checks using the auction reaping method. Now, one of my students will like the look of this. This is a some long mowers I actually picked up. Now the Honda Izzy for example, I think I picked that up at a local auction house for £35. This Honda, uh, Harry lawn mower, I paid a bit more for that one, I paid £45 for that one. Uh, that one, the little red one there cost a tenner and that little green one at the end cost eight quid. I'm not really too bothered about these ones to be honest with you, but these ones after doing my checks the, the Honda Izzy, I think one just sold on eBay for around £219 in very, very similar condition to this. So I'm quite pleased with that one. And again, these are another substantial pull-along lawnmowers, these two. So these are very, very powerful lawnmowers and also in very good condition, believe it or not. So I got them for a steal. Of, uh, that, in fact, the, the, the largest one there, the Honda Harry, I, I just give it a put some petrol in it and just thought I'd give it a start-up and it starts up absolutely first class and it actually runs beautifully with the pull along mechanism all working well and I actually went and cut my grass out so I was well pleased with that. <laughs> the other ones I've not looked at yet anyway but I've got uh, one of my students who has created his own uh, information DVD and uh, some of the tips there in that DVD I'm sure is going to help me with regards to small repairs if needed possibly on these lawnmowers. As I said, I also bought this old bike. Now, I, I typed in the word vintage bicycle. Obviously, there's lots of stuff come up there. And on the strength of that, I took a chance and I actually paid £15 at auction for this bike. Now, I don't exactly know too much about it. It's an old 1940s, 30s bike, I think, by the looks of it. Uh, original saddle in its original patina. And again, I've got to do a bit more investigation on that. But for £15, I took a chance. Bearing in mind, they can pull up to 100 over £200, £300, and even a lot more. So I just took a chance on that one. Uh, this little tin car here. Again, I just did a ch uh, check on eBay. And all I typed in was vintage pedal car. And hey, bro, one came up for 83 quid, And I paid £20 for that. Over the back here we've got a selection of magazines from uh, the 70s and comics. Uh, what I intend to possibly do with these is to put them in little folders, little A4 folders, not A4 folders, in, in uh, little plastic sheets and advertise them as maybe individually or, or in, in sets as batches uh, or also do them for the day of your birthday of your year, the day you were born sort of thing. So someone types in in the keyword their birth date and unique gift put that in the title as well and that word comes up here we've got an old Tommy helmet the SC police one again I haven't seen an SC police one on there I've seen Tommy helmets on eBay now I've seen them with writing on this looks original writing on it and they should command quite a bit of money I paid seven pounds for that 
this Commodore Amiga, which I spoke about in my Auction Reaper DVD, or one of the things I talk about in the DVD. Uh, again, I haven't tried this out, it's not working, but I've typed into Google, I know what they possibly can pull. I paid £7 for that. Again, I've got two cameras there, speciality cameras, I can't remember the names, I'm, I'm not going to open them up now. But I, um, I obviously checked their names, and there was a profit to be made in them, I think I paid about 7 or £8 for each camera there. There's the phones, the two phones here, this one for example, the Goofy phone. I think I paid £7 for that. Now that did have a slight problem with it, where one of his, I don't know if you can see that, he's got two ears now. Well he didn't, he only had one ear. So I just made one out of a strip of plastic. It was simple enough to do, it didn't take five minutes. Another camera there, which is in the bag with the lenses, which is sold now. There's, what was in there, an old, I've said this one's ready to go off now actually. That's been sold. I paid seven pounds for an old uh, vintage telephone, the old 70s, 60s or 70s, just a black phone, not working. But people obviously restored this sort of stuff. I put down in the ad that it wasn't working, and I think that part sold for 16 quid. Again, profit in there. And this old TV set here. Now, again, this is not the sort of thing I'd normally buy, but it's got a brand name on it. It's a portable black and white TV from the 1940s. One went on eBay, not working for 35 pounds. I paid a fiver for it. So again, easy money, pick up only. That would be. I possibly wouldn't bother sending that off. Or if I do send it off, it'll have to be boxed up, which is time out of my schedule. So that's the sort of thing when you're buying larger objects you have to be aware of. You don't want to be spending too much money or time boxing these things up. So stick to smaller stuff normally, but this stuff, for the sake of this, this pedal car for example, it's only light and it could come on quite a bit of money. So, well there you go, that is the auction reaping method, which I employ. I don't know anything about this. Don't forget, I've been doing this for a while. This is just the latest batch I've done. Well, there you go. That is just a small selection of stuff, and I pick this stuff up, and I sell it straight on. Some of this stuff I've actually brought, and I sell on for spares or repairs. So I don't even bother repairing it. Things like that computer, the Amiga computer, for example, that went on sale as spares or repairs. I had no way of checking it and I didn't want so you, you you're looking for quotes in and out in and out and that is how you deal with it put you you, you know it's, it's it, that can turn into a business give it a go you've got no excuse that you can't make money you just got to get off your backside and start doing something this is a simple way without any knowledge that you know but I'll show you how to do it in auction reaper check it out okay folks the video you've just watched I filmed about nine months ago so just to update you if you do progress and carry on with something you'll get better and better at it and what I'm going to show you now is a quick montage of quite a lot of the stuff which I've actually brought and sold for profit so just have a look through this stuff now again a lot of this stuff I didn't know anything about apart from the checks that I do in the auction reaper DVD so what I'm saying to you is, is that I was in the position what you was, I didn't know anything about this stuff, and the more you deal with stuff, the better familiarisation you get with stuff, and the more you do become an expert where you don't have to do your research. So in turn, you do become an expert, and I've become a, quite an expert within the, the period I've been doing this in the items which you're just about to see now. If I saw any of these items again, I would automatically remember that, oh yeah, I had to deal with one of them, and I would then know uh, how much money I could possibly generate. So the more you do it, the better you become, or the more you become an expert. So just have a look at these few items now, and sit through them, and I guarantee that at the end of them, when you first watch it, you may say, well, I'd never know about that, I'd never know about that. And the more you watch the DVD, if you rerun it again and again, you will remember. So familiarity and keep repetition will actually implant in your mind what the items are and what their potential profit is. So you'd have that information at hand, hence you becoming an expert. See you in a minute.
Well, what did you think of that? That is over probably about the last eight months. So there's a lot of work done, been there. I've been out and about. I've obviously seen a lot of stuff locally in shop windows. Some of that stuff comes from shop windows where we've actually seen an, uh, an item listed. We phoned the person up. I've done my checks and I've gone around and I knew exactly what I was going to pay for it and because, because I knew exactly what it was worth. A lot of people around you who put stuff in shop windows are not familiar with computers. They're, or they may be familiar with computers, but they just can't be bothered to package stuff up, send stuff off, fill in a web form and whatever, stuff like that. This is where you benefit. All you've got to do is to make the journey to their house. And don't forget, you, you don't really need to go more than a 20 mile radius. I've, I very rarely go longer than that. But there again, I have advertised stuff and I've actually taken the stuff and delivered heavy stuff over a uh, sort of 50 to 80 miles. I've delivered it for a cost. So providing you've got the means to actually deliver stuff as well, and if you offer that in your listing, you can even make extra money on, on, on actually delivering larger items. And as I say, I went out and bought a van on the strength of that just to uh, so I could get stuff, uh, buy and sell larger items. So there is an option to do that as well. Give it a go. There's local stuff all around you being sold for under what it's worth. You've just got to know how to recognise it and know where it gets uh, advertised. One of the places in local shop windows or even word of mouth. If you start to study, uh, start to concentrate on a certain type of item, and then you will find items uh, come to you via people you talk to because they know you're involved in something. And then you can become a so-called expert in a certain field. I've even done that as well. And in my membership club, there's people in there who have actually successfully brought and sold stuff and become an expert in that niche and they only concentrate on them one items. So if you don't do nothing, nothing's going to change. That's the bottom line here. And the great thing about the Auction Reaper DVD is it shows you the simple techniques that anybody can learn. There's no restrictions of age, gender, or how much money you've got. You can start off with as little or as much money as you want and you're only buying stuff which you know you can profit from. So you're already on a winner because if you do the research, like in my Auction Reaper DVD, you would have insider information without any experience. That's where you can make some money. Give it a go. Start off this year with uh, a new outlook on how you're going to move forward in your life. If you're doing things that you don't like because it's the way it's always been, but you want to make change, only you can make that change. So have a go at auction reaping, even if you give it a go and you, you, you don't like it or you don't want to do it anymore, sell the DVD, make money on that as well. So anyway, speak to you later. Enjoy.